<clears throat> game couch. Uh, you'll notice that the screen is formatted a little differently today. Uh, today is kind of a test episode. Um, I'm uh, doing a test episode for my October 7th event. Uh, I uh, took the liberty of kind of setting up all, all the furniture around uh, exactly the same way that it'll be set up on October 7th. Uh, I have the microphone set up in, in the exact place that I plan on having the microphone set up on October 7th for Super Game Couch EX. Check the bottom for uh, details. Uh, schedule. Um, I am aware that the uh, quality of audio uh, being picked up on this microphone is, I don't want to say bad, it's, I know it's different. It's, it's a different quality. It's more of a, uh, 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 kind of a tinny quality, um, and I am also aware that, uh, there is, uh, most likely you can hear the game audio, uh, echoing. Uh, this could be solved, uh, for the October 7th, uh, event by the participants wearing headsets. Uh, I'm... The, the main test here is uh, if I can get by without doing that. Uh, um, if, it's, if it still functions reasonably well uh, without uh, me having to use a headset, uh, then we'll let that one skate. Uh, so that, that's the test. Um, so I'm going to play play around with the audio levels. I'm going to uh, 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 say what I'm doing so that when I look back at the VOD later, I can. I was just going to make notes, but that's too complicated. I'm just going to say what I'm doing. Uh, so right now I have the volume set at five. This is for my own personal reference when I view the VOD later. I have the volume set at five. Uh, it's pretty quiet. I I think you might be able to hear it. Uh, but, you know, whatever, uh, there will be an echo, I'm sure, uh, but, you know, we're just going to roll with it, and we're just going to see, we're going to see what works, we're going to see what, what, uh, I'm comfortable with, we're going to see, uh, what, uh, how it should be balanced, um, you know, th this is really just, just a big uh, test for the system. Uh, you know, I have other hardware I can hook up and, and play around with. This is, this is the, 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 the easiest way to set it up that I think I can still get a, a pretty good result. So, like I said, the volume's at 5 and we're going to play this game. I picked this game because it's, it, it's relatively new. I'm still kind of excited about it. I've been playing it for like a week and a half or a couple weeks or whatever. Um, and uh, it's a good it's a good game to test out my, my audio uh, setup because it's got a lot of like, you know, uh, bullet fire and a lot of uh, sudden sharp noises. So we're going to jump into the first level here. And I'm pretty good at this first level, so we can just pretty much speed right through it. This first level is really easy. And right now I can I can I can barely hear it myself. Um but I can hear it enough to play it and enjoy it. But we're gonna play around with the audio here in a bit. Is where it gets a little tricky. That's pretty good. Alright, so that's the first level. I'm going to turn the volume up to six and do the second level. Uh, this level I think I have to be a little more careful in. It's not so uh, easy anymore. Gotta teleport around. 
Apparently inside these blue pods are scientists. Um, that's the narrative, you know. They can tell whatever narrative they want. I don't really get the uh, life pod vibe from these things, but... So like I said, right now, the volume is at 6. Uh, a lot of people speed run this game. I am not uh, going to attempt that. Uh, I might be doing this kind of fast now, but that's just because I'm pretty familiar with these levels. Uh, but uh, This is a very speed runner friendly game because it, it takes a lot of... Uh, a lot of skill to manipulate your ship uh, in and out of these obstacles. Um, plus you get points based on how quickly you can beat the levels. Um, but like I said, I am not speedrunning it. It's just these, these levels are pretty early. They're pretty easy for me. Level three here. Stuff starts to get a little more complicated as you uh, as you progress. You know, you unlock uh, new abilities and whatnot. This game was free on, uh, or is free on PlayStation Plus this month. So if you're watching and you have PlayStation Plus, uh, you know, grab it for uh, next month. I'm not going to say it's like a great game or anything. It's fun. It's, uh, it's a decent experience. That's a large teleport there. Eventually you, uh, you get out of the ship and start doing stuff on foot. It's a little more interesting uh, in in this game to me. Um, I love top-down shooters. I play uh, I play a lot of a lot of cave games um, from uh, the the development studio Cave, uh, Mushi Ime Sama Futari, Muchi Muchi Pork, uh, Akai Katana. The list goes on. Um, I like to play a lot of those types of games. Uh, this this has more of a Western vibe to it, but it's still uh, it's it's pretty good. I mean, this is not really in my wheelhouse. I'm more of the bullet hell shooter kind of guy, but uh, I can enjoy a good Western top down shooter. All right, here we go. This is the on foot stuff. As you can see, this this kind of. Uh, uh, level design and platforming lends itself very well to speedrunning. But like I said, I'm not speedrunning this. I'm actually not that good at this game. So, uh... I am not speedrunning this. Um, a lot of this uh, on-foot stuff, especially in the earlier levels, feels a lot like Bit Trip Runner. Which is a very cool game in its own right. All right, I'm gonna turn the volume up again. I'm turning it uh, up to seven. That's for my own uh, personal uh, knowledge when I check the VOD later. Turn it up to seven. It's starting to sound kind of loud. You can probably hear it on the microphone if you couldn't hear it before. Let's do level six here. Plus, I want to find a balance, too, between my voice and the game audio. I want to find a nice balance. Again, uh, this is for uh, testing out uh, audio balance and stuff for my October 7th event.
<laughs> so I'm going pretty quickly through these levels, but it is not going to be like it's not going to be that way forever, man. Believe me, stuff gets a little more complicated. A few, a few more levels in. Seven. There is a story in this game. You're not seeing any of the cutscenes because uh, I've already played those uh, levels. Hmm. This is something I couldn't access before, but I've unlocked a new ability, so let's see. Yeah. See that? Couldn't get that before. I had a feeling, like, when I played through that the first time, that there was something up there. Alright, this is where it starts to get a little, uh, a little more complicated. You gotta hit these locks in order, and they're all throughout the level. start mixing mixing them up a bit uh, eventually watch out for those spikes Got some more points. That's good. Help me in the long run. You unlock the later levels by doing well in the earlier levels. So getting more points is a good thing. I just, I feel like I have to keep reiterating that I am not speedrunning this. I'm, I'm going through some of these parts quickly. Because some of these parts have very little resistance. And I am able to do this rather quickly. But I'm not trying to. It's just working out like that. See, that's how you have to get them in order sometimes. Up three is inside of this teleport here, so... Uh, watch out for those... those hot sections. I'll kill you. And then four. There we go. I mean, you know, for free, this game's pretty good. 